nine dead, 2,800 wounded, as thousands of pagers used by Hezbollah exploded across Lebanon on Tuesday. An attack unprecedented in scale and sophistication blamed on Israel by Hezbollah's leaders. A son of a Hezbollah lawmaker was among the dead. Tehran's ambassador in Beirut was also wounded. Most probably, the Israelis have intercepted the supply chain, interfered with, uh, with the pagers, added a certain explosive material to the batteries or to the pager itself, and, you know, sent it back to waiting for the right moment to do this. And it really does go to show just how deeply Israel has managed to infiltrate um, its adversaries in the immediate region. Hezbollah has warned Israel of retaliation, raising the prospects of a wider conflict in the Middle East. Hezbollah is allied with Hamas, who are currently at war with Israel in Gaza. In Washington, officials deny any involvement in the pager blasts. The White House also repeating its call for a diplomatic solution the to the crisis. You know, when we think about the conflict along the blue line uh, between Israel and Hezbollah, it has uh, it has gone on for way too long, uh, long enough, and so it is in everyone's interest to resolve it quickly and diplomatically. Eugene Adalia, BNC.